So circulating tumor DNA is a tool that may help us to identify patients after the resection of a non-metastatic disease that are going to recur. We have approximately 20-25% of persons recurring after the surgery, but we don't know exactly how to identify them. And today we treat in stage three, for example, 100 patients, exposed all the patients to toxicities of the treatment, but we save 20 lives with it. We avoid 20 recurrences. So having ctDNA may help to identify patients that have still some cancer cell inside their body and that will recur. So it is a very interesting tool, but it's not the magic tool that we hoped. It's not something that say, if you are negative, you have less than 10% recurrence. If you are positive, you are more than 90% recurrence. The true numbers now that we have several studies on that topic are that you have 10 to 30% of recurrence if you are negative and 50 to 70% of recurrence if you are positive. So it will be an additional tool to help to prognostic and choose the good patients for the treatment, but it's not fan completely fantastic. I would say we, we still have to generate knowledge to find the best technology, the best test to use, at what time to use it, and maybe to mix different tests of ctDNA assessment because there are different methods to test ctDNA today.